Captain? Captain, where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain, thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. demonic beasts here they're emerging from the chapel i'll head that way the rest of you protect the students who weren't able to get away help me these beasts they're uh, somebody help me you stupid beasts don't you dare come over here what should i do I will break you! I will get the victory. I'll give it my all. I'm on it. I'll cut through. Ready. I'll go. Stay focused. Here goes. 
on its forehead. I've improved. The demonic beasts were actually students. How can this be? Thank you. But my friends who couldn't get away, are they okay? to serve Lady Rhea. Greatness awaits me. You really think you can keep going? Don't push yourself too hard. Thinking about what happens at Ramire Village, it's clear you've gotten the hang of being a leader. Maybe you should have taken command of me too. <laughs> Another step forward.
Just like that. I was so scared. I'll find a way to repay you. I promise. Sorry. That was a close one. Oh, you saved me! Thank you. trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Remire. Perhaps... Wait! Huh? Another student? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant plan. Dog. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. There is still a role that I require you to fulfill. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. So this is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Uh, 
Agreed. We cannot let the wicked ones run free. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Hmm? Oh. Read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat. Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. There you are. Lady Rhea is looking for you, Professor. And after your audience, why don't you join me at the dining hall? You haven't eaten since... since it happened, have you? Forgive me. I suppose it's too soon to try and coax you back into the normal swing of things. As for what happened to Gerald, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything to stop it. Stay here until you've found some peace. I'll cover for you with Lady Rhea and everyone else. We'll be waiting for you whenever you're ready to return to us. I don't believe it's a sign of strength to just keep moving forward no matter what. Taking the time to grieve for those we've lost? There's strength in that, too. That's what I think, anyway. That said, it's also important to remember that no matter how sad you are, eventually, your tears will dry up. That's when you have to figure out what it is you're living for. Then you can cling to that with all your might and start moving forward again. Four years ago in Dusker, I experienced the same pain you're feeling now. My father was the strongest man I knew, someone I loved and admired deeply. That day, he was killed before my eyes, his head severed clean off. My stepmother, the kindest person I had ever known, left me behind and disappeared into the infernal flames. Everyone who I considered precious, my family and my closest friends. I couldn't save any of them, not a single one. Now, the burden of the work they left behind falls on me. I must ensure they have no regrets. That's my duty as the sole survivor of the tragedy. It's a heavy burden, but accepting it gave me the strength to pick myself up off the ground and start moving again. Start living again. Gerald is gone. So what will you do now, Professor? What must you do? Look deep in your heart, and I'm certain you'll find the answer there. 
indelible and inescapable. <sighs> I've probably bothered you enough for today, but I have just one more thought to leave you with. Even now, Sedith is gathering the knights to begin a full-scale search for the enemy. It may not be right away, but before long they will find their trail. No matter what happens or what anyone may say, know that I plan to stand by you, Professor. Through anything. Until the bitter end. Well, did you search deep within yourself as he suggested? And did you find yourself some answers? This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garrigmark. Their love produced a child, whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Your mother, she was my... Sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood? Part 1. White Clouds. Guardian Moon. Where the Goddess Dwells. Long ago, the Guardian Saros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the Goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across Fodlan. Some believe that high in the sky above Saros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. What are you doing at this hour? Oh, I know. You are eavesdropping. I must admit that I approve. Professor, we must remain quiet. I see. The Flame Emperor and Monica. And the mage who rescued Monica. I don't know, but if we keep listening, we might be able to find out. An unexpected chance to hear their plans. Patience, patience. Oh, thank you, you saved me! If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. 
There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. I've got you. Finally. Don't act now, we'll miss our chance. Hmm. <laughs> Even if someone has overheard us, there is nothing they can do. There have always been rats in the walls, and there always will be. No. The dagger. It... No, never mind. It couldn't possibly be so. Professor, those are the ones we must destroy. They're the bastards who killed my family and Gerald. For now, let's return to the monastery and regroup. As for the Flame Emperor's dagger... I'll hold on to it for the time being. Thank you. I failed. Thanks to hard work. True noble never fails. Oh. 